Hi friends, good morning. Next video from Dhruva Edutainment and Vidu classes. That is what friends? Describe the structure and life cycle of Uchar area Bancrofti. Describe the friends structure and life cycle of Uchar area Bancrofti. Friends. Ucharia bancrofti is a nematode parasite, friends. It is a nematode parasite. It lives in the lymph vessels of man. It causes a disease that is filariasis or ucharariasis. So, friends, this question from Unit 6, that is Biology in Human Welfare of Intermediate First Year. Friends, very, very important question. Unit 6 has total 5 LQs, friends. From these 5 LQs, you will get 1 LQ in your IP test. Okay, friends. Now, once again, you see the friends question. Describe the structure and life cycle of area Bancroft type. First, you write the classification, friends. See, whenever you are going to write about the structure of an animal, you have to write classification. Always you have to write classification on the top right side of the paper, friends. That is according to binomial nomenclature, you know it. You have to write classification on the top right side of the paper. Now, you see, friends, phylum nematoda, class phasmidia, order phyleroidia, Genus Ucharia, Species Bancrofti. Friends, Phylum Nematoda, Class Phasmidia, Genus Ucharia, Species Bancrofti. You know, friends, Phylum Nematoda has two classes, Phasmidia and Phasmidia. Nematodes which have Phasmids are included in the class Phasmidia. Okay, friends? So, this is about the class question. Now, see. Our topic, friends. See, friends. Ucharia bancrofti is commonly called as filarial worm. Friends, it is commonly called as filarial worm. Filarial worm. Friends, filarial worm. It is a common histozoic parasite. See, friends, one more definition you have to learn. What is histozoic parasites? You know, friends, histology means study of tissue. Histozoic parasite means the parasite which lives in the tissue means what friends it is present in between two cells so histozoic parasites are also called as extracellular parasites or intercellular parasites see friends parasite that lives in the tissue of host is called histozoic parasite okay friends now come to friends it is a digenetic parasite see friends digenetic parasite Means what? Parasite which has two hosts is called a digenetic parasite. You know friends, parasites are of two types, monogenetic and digenetic. Here, Ucharia bancrofti has two hosts. Because of that, we are calling it as digenetic parasite. Friends, what are those two hosts? Primary host is man. Secondary host is female culex mesto. You know friends, parasites have... If parasites reproduce sexually, that becomes primary host. If parasite reproduces asexually in a host, that host becomes secondary host. Here, which area bank of T's primary host is man because it reproduces sexually in the man. So, primary host is man, secondary host is female Culex master, friends. Female Anaphilus master is the primary host of the Plasmodium vivox. Here you have to write female Culex masto. See friends, secondary host is female Culex masto. Friends, where does it live? Ucharia bankrupt lives in the lymph vessels of man. Friends, it lives in the lymph vessels of man. You know friends, lymph vessels carry lymph towards the heart. You know it, what is lymph? It is a colorless fluid, you know it friends. So, this area bankruptcy lives in the lymph vessels of man, not in the blood vessels, friend. 
it lives in the lymph vessels of man next come to it has it also lives in the mastoid friends it lives in the thoracic muscles of female culex mastoid friends in man it lives in the lymph vessels in mastoid it lives in the thoracic muscles now see friends you see the characters it is a pseudo coelomate friends it has pseudo coelom you know what is pseudo coelom the coelom which is not covered by mesodermal layers pseudo coelom is what friends it is modified blastocil you know it is a pseudo coelomate next friends it is a dimorphic animal di means to morph means forms so it is dimorphic animal it is a sexually dimorphic animal you know you we have both male and female animals you can recognize both male and female animals separately it is dimorphic animal pseudo coelomate digenetic animal friends see friends next it is unisexual animal means what friends an animal has only one type of sexual organs either male or female see it is unisexual animal or it is also called a dioecious animal friends unisexual or dioecious see male and female reproductive organs present in different animals male and female reproductive organs are present in different animals such animals are called as unisexual or dioecious friends now see you. what are the infective stage of the uchar area very very important friends the infective stage is called as third stage microfilarial larva friends here you remember the larva of the uchar area bancroft is called as microfilarial larva the larva of the ascaris is called as rabditi form larva the larva sorry the ascaris infective stage is second stage rabditi form larva friends here the infective stage of uchereria bancrofti is a third stage microfilarial larva friends third stage microfilarial larva we have four stages friends the third stage microfilarial larva is a infective stage to who friends man mode of infection see friends inoculation inoculation so it infected to the man through the mastobite because of the what we are saying friends mode of infection is called as what friends inoculation now see friends structure of uchar area adult uchar area has a long narrow filiform body friends adult uchar area has long narrow filiform body creamy white in color what is the color friends creamy white in color anterior end is blunt posterior end is pointed once again friends the sorry adult uchar area has long narrow filiform body they are creamy white in color they have blunt anterior end and pointed posterior end blunt anterior end and pointed posterior end see friends these are unisexual animals means sexes are separate means they have more male and female animals it exhibits sexual dimorphism friends sexual dimorphism means what friends identification of male and female animals by seeing their external characters is called sexual dimorphism so sexual dimorphism is present in unisexual animals only friends okay friends that is about the now see friends another important point the male and female worms are found coiled around each other in the lymph vessels friends in the lymph vessels of man both male and female animals coil and live together the male and female worms are found coiled around each other in the lymph vessels and friends man only lymph vessels so male and female which are area lo ok dan tho okati pena veskoni untai friends another important point friends these are ov vv paras animals you know friends animals are of two types ov paras and vv paras Oviparous means what, friends? Animals which lay eggs. Viviparous means animals which give birth to young ones. But which area? Very, very important. What is that, friends? Ovi viviparous animal. What is ovi viviparous animal means? See, friends, these are the eggs develop inside the mother body. So. generally hatching takes place outside the body friends but in uchar area hatching takes place inside the body only so the eggs of these animals develop inside the mother's body or see friends eggs hatch
Eggs hatch inside the body of mother, but the juveniles do not draw any nourishment from mother. See friends, M said need question. Hatching takes place inside the mother, but the juveniles won't feed anything or won't get anything from the, won't feed anything from the mother. See friends, Therulo with Neontam friends, OV, VV Paris ni, Anda Shishut Padaka Jeevi. अंटे अंडम उन्तुंदे अंडम लोग पला शिशु उन्तुंद फ्रेंड्स अने का डिंबा कालो लेदा पिल्ला जीवलन कलिंग ना गुड्लू पेट्टे जीवलो ओके फ्रेंड्स नाउ सिमिलरिटीज बिटवीन सी फ्रेंड्स मेल्स एंड फीमेल्स बोथ मेल्स एंड फीमेल्स हैव माउथ एंड देर एंटीरियर एंड दे हैव माउथ एंटीरियर एंड Next important M set question friends, lips are offset. You know friends, Ascar is has three lips, but here Vuchirera has no lips. Lips are offset. Name a nematode without lips. That is what friends, Vuchirera bankrupti. Excretory pore is present close to the mouth on the mid ventral side. See friends, excretory pore is present close to the mouth. Close to the mouth. Below the here it we have excretory pore friends here it is not there in the diagram excretory pore is present <coughs> below the mouth on the ventral side friends okay on the mid ventral side this is also neat question friends on the mid ventral side now see the differences friends size males are shorter than female females are longer than male the size of the males 40 mm Females 65 to 100 mm. Males have curved tail. Females have straight tail. See friends, it resembles Ascaris in so many characters, friends. Okay. Cloaca and anus. Cloaca is present at the posterior end of the male. Anus is present at the posterior end of the female. Friends, males have cloaca, females have anus. See friends, female gentle pore is present in the females. Female gentle pore is also called as vulva. Vulva friends, female gentle pore is also called as vulva. It is present on the mid ventral side, about one third length of the, one third length from the mouth. It is present on the mid ventral side. See friends, excretory pore, vulva, these are all present on the mid ventral side only. Okay friends, now see another important character friends. Males have a pair of pineal spicules, but important friends, very very important. Pineal spicules are equal in Ascaris, unequal size in Bucheraria bankrupti. So Bucheraria bankrupti has a pair of unequal pineal spicules. These pineal spicules are made up of chitin. So chitinous pineal spicules or copulatory spicules are present near cloaca in males. Pineal spicules are absent in females see friends number of openings males have three openings they are mouth excretory pore and cloaca females have four openings friends mouth excretory pore vulva and anus or see the differences once again friends males and male and female differences See friends, this is the image. See friends, mouth. Here we have, this is, friends, this is female, this is male friends. Mouth. See here, this is vulva or excretory pore friends. Anus. Here we have, see friends, copulatory spicules. This is cloaca. This is mouth. Okay friends. Now see friends, life cycle of Ucheraria bankrupti. You know friends, which area of bankrupt is a digenetic parasite. So it completes its life cycle in two hosts. What are they friends? Primary host is man. Secondary host is female Culex must. Now come to life cycle in man friends. Here you have to write two life cycles friends. One is life cycle of which area bankrupt in man. Life cycle of which area bankrupt in master. First you write life cycle in man. See copulation of male and female which area takes place in the lymphatic system or lymph vessels of the man. See friends, 
copulation of male and female which is a bank crop type takes place in the lymphatic system of human copulation means what means union of male and female elements are mating takes place in the lymph vessels or lymphatic system of the man copulation takes place between the coiled male and female which are there see friends copulation takes place between whom friends between the coiled pene veskoni unna stree mariyu purusha jeevula madhya maatrame copulation jarutundi friends the female worms are ovo vivi paris just i told friends which are there is a ovo vivi paris animal so it lays eggs but inside the egg there is juvenile there is larva okay friends because of that what we are saying it is ovo vivi paris animal see friends female releases sheathed microfilaria larva into the lymph of man see friends so it is ovo vivi paris animal so because of that it releases it lays sheathed microfilaria larva larva plural friends larva singular sheathed means a sheath is present around the larva female releases sheathed microfilaria larva into the lymph vessels or lymph of man now come to microfilaria larva friends you know friends the larva of the vitreria bancroft is called as microfilaria larva very very important so what is the larva what is the name of the larva of my vitreria it is microfilaria larva see friends microfilaria larva first you know some of the important characters microfilaria larva friends see larva vitreria is called microfilaria larva friends microfilaria larva the sheathed larva measures 0.2 to 0.3 mm in length so what is the size of the sheathed microfilaria larva friends it has four stages first stage second stage third stage fourth stage here we are saying sheathed microfilaria it is not even my first stage also friends this is the larva which is just now comes out from the female which are friends so the sheathed larva measures 0.2 to 0.3 mm in length see friends it is surrounded by a loose cuticular sheath because of that we are calling it as sheathed microfilaria larva see friends this microfilaria larva which is surrounded by loose cuticular sheath is called as what friends sheathed microfilaria larva this cuticular sheath is modified shell once again important character friends m said bit that cuticular sheath sheath is what friends it is modified shell you know friends eggs are surrounded by shells that shell is modified into sheath in the sheathed microfilaria larva here you have to write either modified shell or you write egg membrane friends now see friends this microfilaria larva very very important friends leaves the lymph vessels and enter the deeper blood vessels of man you know friends the female which are a bancrofty releases sheathed microfilaria larva into the lymph vessels of man this sheathed microfilaria larva next leaves the lymph vessels and enter into the deeper blood vessels of man see friends it leaves the lymph vessels and enter the deeper blood vessels now very very important friends it resides in deeper blood vessel during day time see friends lymph vessels ni ekkadiki vachindi friends adi manavun yokka deeper ante sharira lopali bhagalo unde blood vessels lo kochindi friends aa lopali bhagalo unde blood vessels lo day time lo untundi see it resides it means what friends my sheathed microfilaria larva it resides in deeper blood vessels during day time day time lo aa larva ekkada untundi friends శరీరంలోని లోపలి భాగాల్లో ఉండే రక్త నాళాల్లో ఉంటుంది ఇట్ ఎంటర్స్ ఇన్ టు పెరిఫెరల్ బ్లడ్ వెసల్స్ డ్యూరింగ్ నైట్ టైం రాత్రి వేళ ఏం చేస్తుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ మన శరీర బయటి భాగాల్లో ఉండే బ్లడ్ వెసల్స్లోకి వస్తుంది వన్స్ అగైన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇట్ రిసైడ్స్ ఇన్ డీపర్ బ్లడ్ వెసల్స్ డ్యూరింగ్ డే టైం ఇట్ ఎంటర్స్ ఇన్ టు పెరిఫెరల్ బ్లడ్ వెసల్స్ డ్యూరింగ్ నైట్ టైం ఇయర్ దేర్ ఇస్ అ టూ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ డెఫినేషన్ that is nocturnal periodicity see friends migration of very very important definition friends migration of microfilaria larva in the peripheral blood vessels of man 
during night 10 pm to 4 am is called nocturnal periodicity friends we have a question right about the nocturnal periods two marks question what is nocturnal periodicity migration of migration of microfilarial larva in the peripheral blood vessels of man during night 10 pm to 4 am is called nocturnal periodicity friends me andar telusu microfilaria larva lymph vessels nundi modata deeper blood vessels lo kostundi day time lo deeper blood vessels lo untundi ratri velalandu manushi yokka ledha manavuni yokka baiti blood vessels loki paridiya raktanala loki cheruthundi paridiya raktanala ante man friends manam peripheral blood vessels antam anaga sharira bahya bhagalu ante blood vessels so here it shows a migration migration and inference valsa povadamo tiragadamo ante ekkunde ekkadi friends deeper blood vessels undi peripheral blood vessels avadamo so migration of microfilaria larva in the peripheral blood vessels of man during night 10 pm to 4 am is called nocturnal periodicity periodicity friends nocturnal periodicity enduku tirugutundi friends ikkada you have to remember it friends so you know it friends during this time only the mastodon feeds the man so who is the secondary host of this microfilarial larva sorry which area bank cavity that is female culex mastodon see friends larvae move to the peripheral blood vessels during the night time between 10 pm to 4 am to suit the feeding habit of the mastodon this movement of the larva is called nocturnal periodicity please don't write this yellowish one in your ip friends so ratri velalandu peripheral blood vessels loki enduku ostundi microfilaria larva anaga enduku friends mi andar telusu ratri velalandu maatrame ekkuva domalu kuttadaniki aaskaram untundi domalu raktaanni sekarinche samayam ledha domalu aaharanni sekarinche samayam ante friends ratri velalandu kabatti appudu domalu loki praveshinchadaniki veeluga ఈ మైక్రోఫైలేరియా లార్వా రాత్రి వేల నందు పెరిఫెరల్ బ్లడ్ వెసల్స్ లోకి వస్తుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ నా సీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెన్ ఏ ఫీమేల్ క్యూలెక్స్ మెస్టో ఫీమేల్ క్యూలెక్స్ మెస్టో సక్స్ ది బ్లడ్ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఇన్ఫెక్టెడ్ పర్సన్ ద షీతెడ్ మైక్రోఫైలేరియా లార్వా ఎంటర్స్ ఇన్ టు ద మిడ్ గట్ ఆర్ ఎలిమెంటరీ కెనాల్ ఆఫ్ మెస్టో సీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ నౌ ద లార్వే మైక్రోఫైలేరియా లార్వే ఇస్ ఎంటరింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద సెకండరీ హోస్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫీమేల్ క్యూలెక్స్ మెస్టో ఎప్పుడైతే ఫీమేల్ క్యూలెక్స్ మెస్టో మానవుని కుట్టి రక్తాన్ని పిలుస్తుందో అప్పుడేమవుతుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఏ మానవుని ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఉచ్చరేరియా బ్యాంక్ క్రాఫ్ట్ని కలిగి ఉన్న మానవుని ఆయన మనం ఏమంటున్నాం ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ఫెక్టెడ్ పర్సన్ అంటాం ఈ శీతడ్ మైక్రోఫైలేరియా లార్వా ఎక్కడికి వెళ్తాయి ఫ్రెండ్స్ దోమ యొక్క మిడ్ గట్లోకి దోమ యొక్క ఎలిమెంటరీ కెనాల్లోకి వెళ్తాయి యునో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇన్సెక్ట్స్ హ్యావ్ యు టేక్ కాక్రోచ్ యు టేక్ మెస్టో దే హ్యావ్ త్రీ పార్ట్స్ ఇన్ దేర్ ఎలిమెంటరీ కెనాల్ ఫోర్ గట్ మిడ్ గట్ అండ్ హిండ్ గట్ సో ఈ లార్వే ఎక్కడికి వెళ్తాయి ఫ్రెండ్స్ మిడ్ గట్లోకి ప్రవేశిస్తాయి వన్స్ అగైన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెన్ ఏ ఫీమేల్ క్యూలెక్స్ మెస్టో సక్స్ ది బ్లడ్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాన్ ఆర్ సక్స్ ది బ్లడ్ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఇన్ఫెక్టెడ్ పర్సన్ ది షీతడ్ మైక్రోఫైలేరియా లార్వా ఎంటర్స్ ఇన్ టు ద ఎలిమెంటరీ కెనాల్ ఆర్ మిడ్ గట్ ఆఫ్ మాస్కిటో నా సీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ దర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బిట్ in mas if mastos not available these larvae can die after 70 days under m set m set and need bit friends so they can live in man for 70 days they can wait for sorry they can live in man for 70 days they can wait for masto for 70 days if even after 70 days so is not available what happen friends these microfilaria larva die so larva can die after 70 days okay friends now see friends this is microfilaria larva see this is in the blood friends see here this is the sheath see friends inside we have larva this is the larva friends this is sheath so this is sheathed microfilaria larva okay friends now now the larva is in the female culex mastodon so now you have to write life cycle of ucheria in the mastodon when a female culex mastodon see friends sucks the blood of an infected person 
the sheathed microfilarial larvae enters into the elementary canal of mastodon friends same point is there in last point in the man friends this is the first point now see friends the sheath of the larvae now if we have friends manaki sheathed microfilarial larva aada culex soma yokka midgut lo unna friends now the sheath of the larvae dissolved in the midgut within 2 to 6 hours once again friends so within 2 to 6 hours lo em ayyo friends a microfilarial larva sheathed microfilarial larva chuttu unna sheath anedi kariginchabadtundi it requires how much time 2 to 6 hours the sheath of the larvae dissolved in the midgut within 2 to 6 hours this egg sheathed larvae friends see ipudu larvae chuttu todugaledu friends anke danne untaru egg sheathed larvae eggs sheathed larvae larvae without sheath the egg this egg sheathed larva penetrate the midgut wall and reach the thoracic muscles of masto see friends the larvae em avutundi friends egg sheathed larvae means larvae without sheath penetrates the midgut midgut ki randral chesi ekkadiki elthundi friends dome yokka thoracic muscles lo cheyutundi the egg sheathed larvae penetrates the midgut wall and reach the thoracic muscles of masto see friends in the thoracic muscles larva changes its shape into flat sausage shaped larva within 2 days see friends in thoracic muscles in the thoracic muscles this larva changes its shape into what friends into a flat sausage shaped sausage shaped means just like a brinjal friends it is a flat and sausage shaped means what friends it is a brinjal shaped right within 2 days this flat a flat sausage shaped larva also called as first stage microfilarial larva see friends the sheathed microfilarial larva is not a true larva friends it is surrounded by sheath what is the first stage microfilarial larva what is the first stage larva of the which area that is flat sausage shaped larva flat sausage shaped larva is called as first stage microfilarial larva it is present in the thoracic muscles of the female culex master see friends this first stage microfilarial larva undergoes first molting and grows into second stage microfilarial larva see friends first molting and second molting of uchereria bancrofti takes place in the thoracic muscles of the master this sausage or this first stage microfilarial larva undergoes first molting and grows into second stage microfilarial larva <coughs> friends first molting pondina larva nu manu second stage larva antam friends mi andar telusu friends manu ask this one nechukunnam so first molting this sausage shaped larva is also called as first stage larva it undergoes first molting and changes into what friends second stage larva now see friends the second stage larva undergoes second molting and grows into third stage microfilarial larva see friends first and second moltings are taking place in the thoracic muscles of the mosquito only due to first molting the larva is changing into second stage microfilarial larva due to second molting it is changing into third stage microfilarial larva so for this it requires 10 to 20 days friends so for this it requires to get two moldings to modify into third stage microfilarial larva which area bancroft requires 10 to 20 days friends 10 to 20 days now see friends this third stage microfilarial larva is the infective stage to man once again this larva enters into the man friends so what is the infective stage of uchereria bancrofti to man that is third stage microfilarial larva the third stage microfilarial larva see friends leaves the thoracic muscles and moves to the labium of the masto to enter into definite host see labium is a type of it is a mouth part friends it leaves the thoracic muscles and enter into the labium of the masto for what friends to enter into what friends to enter into definite host see friends 
first it enters into the mid gut, mid gut to thoracic muscles. The thoracic muscles undergoes two molds. From thoracic muscles to it reaches to the labium, labium to man. So this is the sequence, friends. Now see, friends. Next, in man after infection, once again, friends, once again it is entering into the man, friends. When the infected female Culex masto bites and suck the blood of a healthy man, it releases its saliva on the skin of man. That saliva contains what, friends? Third stage microfilarial larva. So, when the infected female masto bite and suck the blood of a healthy man, the infective stage of area that is third stage microfilarial larva, first enters into the blood circulation of man. See friends, third stage microfilarial larva are entering into the man through the female bite of the female culex masto. See friends. From blood circulation, this microfilarial larvae enters into the lymph vessels. Join friends. Blood circulation, decade question, friends. Lymph vessels, look at From blood circulation, this microfilarial larvae enters into the lymph vessels. In the lymph vessels, they undergo third and fourth moulding. See, friends. First and second mouldings occur in the thoracic muscles of the masto. Third and fourth muscles occur in the lymph vessels of man. In the lymph vessels, this microfilarial larvae undergoes third and fourth moldings and transform into young butcher area. Okay, friends. This young butcher area gets maturity within 5 to 18 months. See, friends. I don't know what the problem is. Even when sexual maturity is lying in the paripak. Okay, friends. Here you remember what is the infective stage, friends? Microfilaria larva, third stage microfilaria larva. Total how many moldings are there in the butcher area? Total four moldings, friends. What are they? Where are they are occurring? First two are in the thoracic muscles, third and fourth in the lymph vessels of man. Okay, friends. That is about the life cycle of butcher area. Now you see the diagram, friends. See, friends. When mastobites, the sheathed microfilarial larva is entering into the masto. See friends, life cycle in masto. This sheathed microfilarial larva, it is changed into larvae 1. What is this friends? Flat, sausage shaped larvae. This is microfilarial larva 1. It, it changes into larva 2 due to first molting. Okay friends. Next, this is larva 3, third stage microfilarial larva. See friends. First stage microfilarial larva, second stage microfilarial larva, third stage microfilarial larva. First stage microfilarial larva is also called a sausage shaped larva. It undergoes first molding and changes into second stage larva. Second stage sausage larva undergoes second molding and changes into third stage microfilarial larva. This third stage microfilarial larva is the infective stage, friends. See, friends, once again, when mastobites, it enters into the healthy man. In the healthy man, it enters into the blood vessels. From blood vessels, it reaches to the lymph vessels. In the lymph, it undergoes two moldings, friends. Third and fourth, and changes into adult. These adults, the coiled adults, copulate and release micro, sheath and microfilarial larva. Then it once again undergoes into the mouth. Like this, it completes its life cycle, friends. Okay, friends. See, friends, one second, this image also. See, first stage, so sausage shaped, second stage, infective stage, it is entering into the man, male and females, sheathed microfilaria, like this, it circulates or it contains its life cycle, friends. Now, next, friends, we have four more question. Pathogenicity of which area? Friends, what is pathogenicity? Pathogenicity, friends, Vyadikara Kata. So, the disease causing characters of the Ucheria. Ucheria causes a disease called filariasis or elephantiasis. Friends, the disease caused by Ucheria bankruptcy is called as what friends? Filariasis or elephantiasis. But here you remember two important things, friends. Sometimes a man has only light infection of Ucheria, then it shows some symptoms. Sometimes a man has 
సివియర్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ కొన్నిసార్లు ఏమవుతుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ తక్కువ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ ఉంటుంది లేదా తక్కువ ఉచ్చరేరియాలు ఉంటాయి అప్పుడు మనకు ఒక రకమైన సిమ్టమ్స్ కనిపిస్తాయి కొన్నిసార్లు ఎక్కువ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ ఉంటుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఎక్కువ పారాసైట్స్ మనలో ఉంటాయి అప్పుడు ఒక రకమైన ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ కనిపిస్తుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ అందుకే ఇక్కడ చూడండి ఫ్రెండ్స్ లైట్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ అండ్ హీవీ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ గివ్ ఇట్ టు సపరేట్ ఎడ్ ఇన్ఫ్లెన్స్ వెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ లైట్ ఆర్ వెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఫ్యూ మైక్రోఫైల్ ఏరియా ఆర్ వెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఫ్యూ ఉచ్చరేరియా ఎ మ్యాన్ హ్యాస్ వన్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సిమ్టమ్స్ ఇఫ్ హీ హ్యాస్ మోర్ ఆర్ సివియర్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ హీ హ్యాస్ సమ్ అదర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సిమ్టమ్స్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ బట్ ద డిసీజ్ కాజ్ బై ఉచ్చరేరియా ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ఫైలేరియాసిస్ ఆర్ ఎలిఫెంటయాసిస్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్ సీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ లైట్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ లైట్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఉచ్చర్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాజెస్ సీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫైలేరియల్ ఫీవర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ హియర్ రిమెంబర్ త్రీ వర్డ్స్ ఫైలేరియల్ ఫీవర్ లింఫాంజైటిస్ అండ్ లింఫాడినైటిస్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ దీస్ టూ ఆర్ హ్యా దే హ్యావ్ వీ హ్యావ్ సపరేట్ బిఎస్క్యూ దిస్ హోల్ ఈజ్ ఎ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్ this two becomes a short question friends now see friends when we have light infection of uchar area causes first filarial fever friends filaria jwaram ostundi friends maniki what is the what are the symptoms symptoms of filarial fever headache mental depression rise in body temperature friends rise in body temperature see friends what are the symptoms of filarial fever headache mental depression right in rise in body temperature now come to lymphangitis friends next next character inflammation of lymph vessels is called lymphangitis friends inflammation of lymph vessels is called as lymphangitis one second friends what is lymphangitis inflammation of lymph vessels is called as lymphangitis see friends in greek angio means vessels itis means inflammation so inflammation of lymph vessels is called lymphangitis next character friends lymphadenitis inflammation of the lymph glands is called lymphadenitis inflammation of lymph glands is called lymphadenitis see friends adeno means gland itis means inflammation so lymphangitis and lymphadenitis friends we have a two marks question lymphangitis means inflammation of lymph vessels lymphadenitis inflammation of lymph glands okay friends now see friends heavy infection of uchar area causes see friends lymphedema lymphedema edema friends you know edema means swelling lymphedema in greek edema means swelling swelling in lymph vessels and lymph glands is called as lymphedema inflammation is called as lymph vessels Inf- inflammation of lymph vessels is called as lymphangitis inflammation of lymph glands is called as lymphadenitis here what we are saying friends lymphedema swelling in lymph vessels and lymph glands is called as lymphedema okay friends now this is due to how we get friends how will get lymphedema this is due to accumulation of dead worms which block the lymph vessels and glands see friends what is lymphedema friends accumulation of sir swelling of lymph glands and lymph vessels is called as lymphedema friends so man mark lymphedema ela ostundi this is due to accumulation of dead worms which block the lymph vessels and glands em avutundi friends manaki mana lymph vessels lo unna ఉచర్ ఏరియాలు చనిపోయి ఏం చేస్తాయి ఫ్రెండ్స్ మన లింఫ్ వెసల్స్ బ్లాక్ చేస్తాయి ఎప్పుడైతే లింఫ్ వెసల్స్ బ్లాక్ అవుతాయో ఆ ఏరియాలో లింఫ్ ఫ్లో కాదు ఫ్రెండ్స్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ డ్యూ టు అక్యుములేషన్ ఆఫ్ డెడ్ బాంబ్స్ ఇక డెడ్ బాంబ్స్ మీన్స్ డెడ్ ఉచర్ ఏరియా బ్యాంక్ ఆఫ్ టీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ బ్లాక్ ద లింఫ్ వెసల్స్ అండ్ గ్లాండ్స్ సో డ్యూ టు వాట్ డ్యూ టు దట్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ స్వెల్లింగ్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ ఇన్ దట్ ఏరియా దట్ దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ లింఫెడిమా లింఫెడిమా అక్కర్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ బాడీ పార్ట్స్ lymphedema occurs in some body parts friends what are they friends limbs scrotum of males mammary glands of females see here friends see friends limbs this is what friends lymphedema or it is also called as uchar area we come to later friends
limbs scrotum of males mammary glands of females see friends last one friends elephantiasis this is a terminal condition friends once again this is a neat question the terminal condition of the ucherera bank of teeth called friends elephantiasis vyadi chivari sthitini emanta friends elephantiasis ledha bodha kalu anta terminal condition of the disease is called as elephantiasis friends this is neat question and answer question terminal condition of the disease is called as elephantiasis in severe cases manaku vyadi teevranga unnappudu mana kanipinche lakshanalu enti friends the sweat glands in the affected region disintegrates you know friends sweat glands our body has our skin has sweat glands so when the when we have severe condition of the elephantiasis what happen friends the sweat glands disintegrates so friends sweat glands kshininchi potayi skin to become dry and rough eppudu sweat glands potayo skin em avutundi friends dry and rough charmam podiga mariyu garikaga maarutundi okay friends that is about the pathogens thing once see friends this is some of the characters of elephantiasis some important bits for neat and mcet friends no need to write in the ip friends histogeic parasite parasite that lives in between cells of host is called histogeic parasite it is also called as intercellular parasite or extracellular parasite diagenic parasite parasite completes its life cycle in two host sexual dimorphism identification of male and female animals by seeing their external characters see friends sir patrick manson here you have to remember one scientist friends sir patrick manson friends sir patrick manson identified him female culex master as secondary host of ucheria so sir patrick manson said that female culex master acts as secondary host for ucheria okay friends now see friends excretory pore and female genital pores are present on the mid ventral side of the body pineal spicules are unequal size in which area friends which area is ov vv paris animal number of moldings in the life cycle of which area is four first and second moldings in the thoracic muscles occurs in the thoracic muscles of female culex masto sorry See friends, first and second moldings in the thoracic muscles of female culex masto. Third and fourth moldings occur in the link vessels of man. Lifespan of sheathed microfilaria larva in blood of man is 70 days. Duration required to dissolve sheath of microfilaria larva, 2 days. Duration required of microfilaria larva to get first and second molds, 10 to 20 days. Young butcher area. attain sexual maturity within 5 to 18 months friends you read see the last four points in the neat they will give these four points and you have to arrange them in a sequence from here ascending to descending order or descending to ascending order okay friends this about what friends uchar area bancrofti very very important four marks question friends ucher area bancrofti okay friends thank you good day friends